our YouTube. All right, so I have a bag of scented beads already. I've got my sticks, or my sticks and my cups. And then these are the clips. So these clips have this metal piece on the back. And then they've got this black thing. Hey, Michelle, and this would hook onto your air vents. Right here. So I'm gonna turn you down so you can see. There we go. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna measure out our molds, how much is gonna fit in a mold. So what I do <coughs> is I take a, I take a cup and I fill it with the, I'm actually going to move this down here. There we go. Let's see right there. I'm going to fill this up to see how far, how many beads it's going to need. And I fill it up about three quarters of the way full. And I'm filling these up on a cookie sheet because the beads get everywhere when I do it. If you are able to do this without getting beads everywhere, you are a saint. But I figured this would be the safest way for me to do it without getting beads everywhere. All right, let's see if we can get some of these into where these little antennas there we go once you get a few in then you can kind of stick them in like that okay so now we know how much beads we need for each one we can put this in here and seal it up so now we're going to dye them so I just use mica powder so let's start with the cactus because that one's going to be easy we just know it's going to be green right so i pour all those beads back into a cup and then i'm going to find my green mica here's a green and puzzle tumblers does have mica hey Rhonda. hey judy um but when you are wanting colored mica i get mine from a hippie crafter Dot com. But Puzzle does have a few colors, just not all the colors that you'll need. So just a little dab will do you for the mica. And you just swirl it around. What scent? It's the same scent. It's called like Wild at Heart or something like that. Honestly, it's just like a fresh laundry scent to me. I don't know. All right, so now we're gonna pour these back in. They're a beautiful green color. Okay. Next up, we'll do the flower. So with this flower, I am not good at doing the scents multiple colors. Um, that's just not something I am good at. So I'm not gonna showcase that. <laughs> um, but I will do, how about let's do a daisy. So I'll do it yellow. Now we're going to get our yellow mica. Ooh, that yellow mica got everywhere. And mix it up. I guess you could say this is a sunflower too, either way. Put it right back in there. Add it down a few times. All right. 
And then the last one we're going to do is this B. Now, I am not really sure how we're going to do this B. Let's just... First, let's get all the beads out. And these are so cute. These are such, hey Jenny, these are such a good alternative if you don't want like a big honker, uh, you know, hanging from your mirror. You can just throw these onto your um, air vents. And okay, let's do this one. Let's just do it black. Because I have black right here. So do the same stick. A little dab will do ya. And I have my oven already preheated to 270. We're gonna bake these nice, low, and slow. And see how it goes. I've never made a um, vent one, so I'm not sure, but we'll see how it goes. Pour these back in, and then if you have any questions, please don't be um, afraid to ask. I can definitely answer those for you. All right, so I'm just opening this mold. is has a very, very small opening here for the antenna. So I'm just making sure that we've got beads there in the antennas. Antennae. Okay. So now I'm going to put them on my tray and I'm going to bake them. Let's bake them for... All right, so I love the bee. Okay, the bee is pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. So let's see, which one is coolest? This one is pretty cool. So let's start with the cactus, shall we? So I have green tulip slick paint, and then we will use Easter grass. And I will show you how simple this is, this, especially this cactus one is very very simple so we could actually just do the outline I'll show you guys we'll decide if we want to do more than the outline or just the outline when it comes to having glitter I am thinking that for a vent clip you're not gonna want full glitter on these because when you turn your AC on or you turn uh, your uh, heater on, you're going to have glitter coming out your vent. So, you could leave it like that. You could leave it just like that if you wanted, or you can glitter it. And since we like to glitter, let's glitter it. I'm just going to take our Easter grass and just pour it on top. Okay. We're gonna let this cool or whatever dry and then we'll brush it off. So I'm gonna put this right here. Actually, I'll put it right here. Okay, and I'll put it off to the side. There we go. So that's Easter grass, that color. So pretty.
Okay. Next up, let's do the flower. So let's do the middle. I don't think I brought, uh, I did not bring a white glitter. So we'll just do white solid in the inside. So we're gonna do the leaves or the petals, I guess. Uh, let's see, what are we gonna do? Let's do the petals yellow. Have I never used this before? Let's see. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, let's see. Should we do a rainbow? Let's do a rainbow. How many colors do we have? One, two, three, four. So yellow. Let's do blue. Let's do yellow, blue, purple, pink, right? Yellow, blue, purple, pink. So it's every four, it's gonna be, or every three. Blue, purple, pink. Yellow. Blue, purple, pink, yellow, blue, purple, pink, yellow, blue, purple, pink. Okay, where's my yellow glitter go? Right here. Okay. So that yellow is called Softball Mom. Okay. Let's do yellow or blue next. Hoppity. Pretty colors. Yes, this box is gorge. Okay. Look at so far. So pretty. Okay. This is going to be our spring flower. Okay, let's do pink next. So it always gets jammed up. These colors are like the definition of Easter, that's for sure. Spring. Okay. 
Now we're gonna add spring peeps. Look at that, so pretty. We still have to add purple, I can't wait. My favorite thing about these colors is they look so different on every different color base. Like on a white base, hot pink base, uh, purple base, whatever you want. Like all these colors look so different. Okay, last one is purple. <gasps> Thing is stuck. There we go. I thought the little lid got stuck in there, but we got it out. Okay. okay, so this last color is called Chillin' with My Peeps. Oops. What's a oops? Look at how pretty that is. Gorge, gorge, gorge. I need to learn what all I need to make these. Mary, it's very, very few items that you need to make these. All you need is the um, molds from Puzzle Tumblers. You already have glitter from Puzzle Tumblers. Puff paint and or slash acrylic paint or Mod Podge or whatever you'd like to use. And then, um, the unscented or scented beads or whatever you want to do for beads in the middle or in the middle in the purple really pops yes it does they all the colors have their own little they all kind of stand out next to each other so I'm putting white in the middle you can do brown black whatever Look at how cute that is. Looks like a little Easter flower, spring flower. So cute. So here's the two we've made so far. The cactus and the spring flower. And now we're going to make our little bee. Look at how cute this bee is. Okay. Obviously when he lays fly, he's a little wonky, but that's because of the back. But guess what? He's never going to be laying flat, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, so we're going to start with our darkest color first, which is going to be our black. So, on our B, he is going to have a black stripe here. Okay. And then let's outline him. Oh, and then his little stamp will be black. Okay, and those are his wings, which will be white. So let's do his outline. I'm not even gonna attempt to glitter his antennae, but I will glitter around his head. and his butt. There you go. Okay. I already have the mold and the glitter. Then Mary, it's very easy. All you gotta do is get those beads, pop them in the oven. There's our black so far. So cute. Okay. Cannot wait to add the yellow. 
He is gonna be so cute. Okay. Put you over here. Get our yellow. Our yellow is going to be here. Where do you get the scented beads? I got my scented beads from a DSAS group on Facebook. That's where I get mine. But there are companies out there that sell the beads. Here's our bee with his yellow stripe. Oops, I gotta take the lid off. I don't know which one I'm gonna want. These are pretty cute. I actually think these might sell within my customer base because these are very cute and they're not so big okay next we're going to do the white for his wings Obviously, if you wanted to, you could easily wait in between each color to dry if you wanted. <laughs> so we're just gonna leave his wings white look at how cute that is is that acrylic paint you're using no this is um it is tulip slick paint tulip slick paint is what i'm using so there are our three um little molds how cute are those we're going to let this dry, and then um, what I'll probably do tomorrow is I will brush them off, dry brush them, and then I will adhere the uh, vent clips, these said vent clips. Love the bee. The bee is pretty cute. I will add the vent clips and take a picture of them in my car. And hopefully sell some. That would be fun. If not, we'll give them as gifts. Does anyone have any questions, comments, or concerns about the small vent clip molds? Also, again, don't ask about that. <laughs> we overbought for my uh, son's birthday party, so now we have an insane amount of bugs. They are all so cute. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate everyone watching. If you have any questions or anything, you can always send me a message. My name is Katie. I'm from Wild Heart Shop. You can get all this stuff and more on puzzletumblers.com. You can get the molds, glitter, the vent clips, everything like that um, from Puzzle Tumblers. And um, make sure you use the discount code Wild Heart Shop. And you can find me on Facebook, Etsy, Pinterest. Instagram, TikTok, all under Wild Heart Shop. So thank you so much, and I'll see you next week. Bye.